the octopus. In this video, I'll first talk about my personal experience, how I started to scrape websites without coding, and then I'll show you exactly how I did it. So, back in college, I was studying hospitality and tourism management. And back at that time, I didn't know anything about programming languages or any information technology stuff. And when I was doing an internship in Spain, I was working in a Spanish hotel consulting company. One day, a large hotel group came to us. They were like, hey, we're planning to build a new hotel in this region. Um, can you do a market research and study the existing hotels in that region so that we can develop a new strategy for our new hotel? And we were like, yeah, sure, no problem. But the problem is that none of us knew how to code. And back at that time, none of us knew that we had an option called web scraping. We were collecting information from the online travel agencies like Booking.com, TripAdvisor, Expedia, Hot and Tag, etc. And we spent hours and hours copying the information from the website and pasting it into a hotel Excel sheet. And let me tell you something, it was a complete waste of time. At least I was making mistakes constantly and we could only analyze a limited number of, of hotels because we were doing it all manually. So the situation remained unchanged until one day I was doing I was reading paper for my research. And then I read about the writer was using Octopus web scraping template to collect online, online reviews from social media channels and do customer sentiment analysis. I thought, oh my god, this is something I, I could do because they worked very similarly. So inspired by that, I started to use two TripAdvisor web scraping template to extract information from the website. And this is how the final result looked like. So this is the data from the first template. And this is the data from the second template. And this is how I did it. Because the templates were pre-formatted crawlers, I didn't need any setup. I used the first template to retrieve hotel general information and detail page URLs from the list page. And then I used the URLs with the second template to extract hotel detailed information. Let me explain this in detail. To use this template, you need to have Octopus installed on the computer. Set up a new task by clicking the task template. As you can see, there are a lot of templates we can choose from. Part 1. Use the first template. Extract hotel general information and detail page URLs. The first one that I used was called URL's Trip Advisor. Click the template. It has both instructions and sample output. Follow the instructions and double check the sample output to make sure that this template scrapes the website you want and it can get you the web data that you need. With this one, you can extract the number of properties the hotel name, price, star rating, number of reviews, amenities, and most importantly, the detail page URL. Click Use Template. It asks you to fill in the parameters to define which website we want the bot to scrape. Now we need to get a URL from the browser and input it into the bar. Notice. Since the template is pre-formatted, it can only get you the data from the pages that share similar structures. So if the template says list page, it means it can extract information from the list page. And if it says detail page, it means it can extract information from the detail page. If you accidentally input a list page URL into a detail page template, it's not going to get you the data you want. Okay, let's continue. It also asks how many pages we want to extract. Enter the number you prefer from 1 to 10. Now we finish setting up the template. Click Save and Run. And select Cloud Extraction in the pop-up window. Go back to the dashboard. It displays the status of the extraction with the number of lines it has got. You can see the task is running now. And when it gets done, you'll see it's completed. Click on the ellipsis icon, find View Data, and go to Cloud Data. 
We can now export it into Excel. We just finished the first part of our scraping journey. The second part. Use the second template. Input the detail page URLs to extract hotel detailed information. Let's take a look at what we got in the second template here. As you can see, besides the hotel name and number of reviews, we can extract tons of info like the ranking of the hotel, its location, the phone number, amenities, room features, ratings on different aspects, number of restaurants and attractions nearby. We can even scrape the URLs of the first three images. Copy the detail page URLs and input them into the box. The bot will search through the URLs one by one and extract the data from each detail page. You can now find the second task in the dashboard as well, and you can access the data at any time. After the extraction was completed, I could export the data into Excel, CSV, JSON, or our own database. But back at that time, we didn't have our own database, so I always exported into Excel. We were using Excel to sort out all the hotel information so that we could determine which ones were the best hotels and we could develop a strategy for the hotel of our client. After using Octopars, our work efficiency was greatly improved. We had a much more complete data set with much fewer errors. And at least for me, it saved me so many hours of tedious work. And it really got the job done so much faster. But this is not the end of my story. After I graduated, I joined the Octopars team. During my interview session, I talked to my manager and she told me that they started to build this web scripting tool for people just like me. People that need web data, but they don't know how to get it quickly and efficiently. They started to build this web scripting tool because they want to make web data accessible, accessible to everyone. Gradually, I learned that not only for the tourism industry, but also web scraping is widely used to do price monitoring in e-commerce, collect social media channels, reviews for customer sentiment analysis, extract data from search engine, collect real estate housing information. And there was a video I made about generating sales leads from yellowpages.com. If you guys are interested, you may check out the suggested videos. No matter what industry you're working in, if you're in need of web data at any time, we are so ready to help. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you're inspired by my story at any point in this video, would you give a thumb up and subscribe to our channel? If you would like to share your web scraping story, just leave a comment down below. Our next video about cloud extraction is coming soon. Stay tuned.